Hey Cancer, this is a May 2020 reading for you. This is a general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. May 2020. How can you create more balance in all aspects of your life? How can you become more balanced? And I'm going to do a three-card spread with the Osho Zen Tarot for you. Cancer, May 2020. For your past, we have ooh, for your past we have integration. So you were kind of integrating um, parts of yourself and like the male and feminine side of yourself. You're learning about yourself and others, and really linking the in, in, inner world and outer world inside yourself to create a harmonious balance and integrate all aspects of your creative creative self, your logical self, and everything like that. And then for your current situation, we have awareness. So this, uh, oops, sorry. So this illusionist trap of our, you know, earthly bound bodies is, you know, inside, d deep down, what burns within us is awareness. And that's awareness of all things, not just ourself. And so you're gaining awareness and perspective and a lot of inner peace. So the, the old knowledge, the old perspectives are burning away and you're becoming more aware of this whole new life and everything. And so for your future, we have the lovers. So you're you're finding some kind of harmonious, loving, passionate new beginning or reconciliation between a lover or your and yourself or you could be finding new passion just it's just infinity and creative passion or love. And then I'm going to do a five card spread to clarify all of this for your month of May, Cancer. Cancer, May 2020 for Cancer. Okay. And for your current situation, we have nine of swords. So yeah, with awareness comes this recovery out of this feeling of like just doom. Like, oh my gosh, is this the best life can be? Or, oh my gosh, I can't take any. It's too scary. It's just too scary. But in reverse, it's kind of like a recovery from that. And, and it's probably from gaining awareness and perspective and just realizing, okay, all right, I understand this now. In your recent past, we have three of wands in reverse. So perhaps plans did not play out as pl as plotted as planned. Um, there's delays uh, amidst success of yours, whether it be like um, in relationships or work or passion, you know, your creative passion, whatever it may be. There's some kind of delay or mild disappointment. This could also mean. Um, miscommunication like communication problems and perhaps that's what brought in the integration because you have that time of stillness and reflection and that's when you're really able to be like molding your male and female self into this whole harmonious being and that gains you awareness and out of this like um brain foggy situation and for your abilities this month yeah you're really able to work hard. You know you have to work hard. You know work hard. You know hard work pays off, and it's kind of like the promise of coin to come, um, because you're so fo you're staying focused and aligned with what you want out of life. With the Ace of Pentacles, it could mean like per perfection, prosperity, and contentment. So overall, this month, you're feeling pretty content with your coin. You're able to make it when you need it and everything like that. You're just not, not in a position where you need things. And then for your, uh, for your love, passions, interests, we have Seven of Cups in reverse. So someone's probably putting you through a little bit of a loop. Um, there's a little bit of perhaps illusion here. Um, too much fantasy uh, so this month I would definitely suggest resisting temptation 
Um, whether it, no matter what, don't bend your truth. Whatever you believe in, it's not worth bending for somebody else. If you believe it, then you believe it. Let it be, let it ride. Because in your future, you have the lovers. So no matter what, if one door closes, another one better will open. And it is harmonious. Whether it be, this this lovers could definitely be for your ability to, to do well and work hard in your passions. But this is also, you know, seven of cups in your passions, loves and in, love and interest. There is delusion here. There is a little bit of, you know, not not seeing things clearly and make, making uh, decision, decisions based on emotion is never good. Um, and for your outcome, we have six of wands in reverse. So you might be hesitant um, to take on the responsibilities that you need to to, to succeed. Um, uh, or you're feeling a little bit let down, like something's put on a pause, which is the same as this three of wands situation. So let me clarify all of this. May I please clarify? Not yet. May I please clarify the three of wands for cancer in the recent past for cancer? The magician. Yeah, you were manifesting things. You were getting things done. You were doing some inner alchemy and integrating yourself, but something still got put on hold a little bit, and it brought about a little bit of disappointment, um, but you're understanding it. And then may I please clarify the nine of swords for the current situation for cancer? Yeah, you're feeling a little bit of sorrow and um, loss here, but you're pulling through it and recovering through this doomy feeling with awareness and a lot of and with that brings brings a lot of self confidence and clarity in action. And then, may I please clarify the lovers in the future? Clarify the lovers in the future. I don't know what I'm doing here. Something's hiccupy. Yeah. In the future, you have some kind of real satisfaction in, like, a loving, passionate, either, like, professional endeavor or whatever, but it's something to where you're really creating balance and giving back. You're able to give back th to your community and be diligent to yourself and not give up your cups, your emotional stability, and your ability to um, provide... Oh, sorry provide emotional stability for yourself and others and then may I please clarify the seven of cups for love passions and interests please yeah so with this like delusion fantasy like not clear situation for your love passions interests you really need to take the time to review your reflect and review your swords so what's worked this far in life what hasn't worked this far in life? What swords are you taking with you? What swords are you leaving behind? Because when you take the time to be quiet and find peace and reflect and lay down your swords and just just understand and find awareness and clarity, then you can really, really make things happen for yourself and get this lover's situation. May I please clarify Ace of Pentacles and the abilities? Ooh. So you're really, really good at balancing home and work life right now. You're balancing your emotions. You're, you're balancing your coins. Um, you might have two jobs or, you know, multiple outlets of income. Or you could also be juggling two lovers. Um, but take it how it applies. It doesn't apply to everybody. And then with the Seven of Cups, it's kind of like your... It's, it's another illusion card so but the so just yeah for the month of may there's a lot of illusion may i please clarify the six of wands for the outcome six of wands for the outcome for cancer hmm. um don't, don't, I don't know how to say this. With the new projects and creative job drive that you're experiencing, don't become irresponsible and petulant. 
Don't be like, what about me? What about me? What about me? I want my coin. You are perfectly capable of making plenty of coin. You're very, you're very stable. You're very able and capable and abundant. You have so much. The world is yours. Sorry. The world is yours. But, you know, you might be getting wrapped up in this fantasy world of things that you think you deserve. And, of course, you deserve all of that thing, those things. But maintain your awareness of this, you know, the whole perspective of things. With being a water sign, it's really easy to get trapped in the emotions of things. Um, but... Just maintain your clarity and your awareness, this integration of your male and female self. Be receptive of energies that are there to help you and also be um, clear in all of your actions. Don't shy away from being responsible and don't shy away from the limelight because you have the ability to help and give, give to others, but you cannot abuse that power. You have to be very clear and not work through sour and sour, sourness or bitterness. May I please have one guide card? One more guide card for Cancer May 2020. Okay, dog. So be loyal, be, like show sense of loyalty. Don't run away from, yeah. Don't, don't run away or shy away from being that figurehead for people. Do, you know, be loyal to your word. Be, have integrity, be impeccable, but also play. Have so much fun with life. Don't take life too seriously. Go with the flow of life. Be aware of the waves that you're sending out to the world. Um, be kind, be compassionate, be loving. Even if you disagree with someone, deal with it compassionate and lovingly with a lot of love. Beware illusion this month. Definitely be clear. Keep your water clear. Um, okay, thank you so much, Cancer, and I appreciate you, and I hope that you have a wonderful May.